again, uh, hello to everybody watching this Thursday afternoon, October 11, 2018. I'm Andre Felix. With me is Mikey Reyes. And we also have Message Tantenko at courtside, whom we'll get back to later on. In the meantime, think natin yung quarter scoring here, Mikes. Game of Friends, first quarter owned by the Pirates, second quarter to the Blazers, and the third to the Pirates. So the odd quarters favoring the Pirates. Tignan natin kung mababago yun. Ng, of course, gusto ng Lyceum. Nababago na yung trend na yun because they don't want St. Benito to go on a big run here to cut this deficit down. Ibe. That pass intended for Haruna. LPU gets it back. And here's Perez. Oh, and Perez is just really unstoppable. Well, that's just a veteran's move there for CJ Perez. The patience, knowing the athletic did. Yung mga kalaban niya to si Yankee Haruna. Yankee Haruna tries to get it back on the other end. And hits it against two gray shirts. Again, way back. Uh, on August 7, LPU defeated CSB 77 to 65. Well, it was also a good one and a close one, where CSB even led 43-39 early in that third quarter. But LPU, known for the runs, they had a 13 to nothing run in that game that sealed the deal. Naboa, the stop and pop, gets the drop. Good shot there for Unique Naboa. Quick 4-0 run here, four point swing in favor of the Blazers. Naduya to Ayai. Zuzu. Good ball movement for LPU. Ayai inside, dumps it Raymar to Kaduya and he converts. What a pass here for Jesper Ayai, finding Raymar Kaduya open down low. Raymar Kaduya also, what a great cut there, being ready for the pass and hitting. Take a look at the assists, LPU is really sharing the basketball here with 18 dimes as compared to only 10 by the CSB Blazers. Yankee Haruna over Zuzu and Ayai down low. And this very, very basic stop and pop there. Ala T.Y. Tang, the unique na boa sa kabila naman. Jesper Ayai again playing point forward, hitting his friend down low, Raymar Kaduya. And they said that just as St. Benilde is making their run, LPU will just execute to perfection and get an easy basket, which also is a training yun if you're St. Benilde. Na ganun kadali yung mga nagagawa ng LPU. Perez goes baseline, finds Zuzu. Surrounded by green shirts. Mike Carey still has the leather, kicks it out. Now here's Perez. Goes inside, throws one up, no go. Gutang gets it back for the Blazers. CSB on the run. Gutang against Lochu. Just Gutang. Head down, game pace on, coast to coast. It's Justin Gutang. Gutang now with 11 markers. Let's see Ms. Siege Tantenko. Yes, Siege. Yes, Andre. The LPU Pirates are the only team in the league to decorate their dugout whiteboard with smiley faces and with a reminder to think happy thoughts. That sort of optimism is something that they credit that in keeping them in the lead throughout this game so far. Now we go over to the CSB side. They have their own dose of optimism. Coach D. White Tang reminding his players that they are still in this. They just need to tighten down on defense, stay calm, show their maturity, and most importantly, believe in themselves that they can win this game. Back to you. Thank you, Siege. You know, these two coaches are, I think, two of the more or most positive coaches and players uh, that we've had, we've seen in the pros, collegiate ranks, and also as coaches, Coach Topex Robinson with his philosophy of JC Marcelino will foul out here and look at Coach Topex. And then Coach D. White Tang also, positive guy, calm, reminding his players. We're still in this one. Take a look at the assistant coaching or the coaching staff. First, co assistant coach Jeff Perlas. We also see assistant coaches Romela Dugol, Gilbert Malabanan. And both coaches, you talk about Coach yeah. D. White Tang and Coach Ro uh, Topex Robinson, came from legendary coaches. I mean, you talk about Coach T. White Tang coming from uh, Coach Franz Pomarin, Coach Yengiao, Coach Topix Robinson, the same, Coach Yengiao. So, 
nakikita mo naman yung yung experience nila as players. Of course, they they're not necessarily exactly like these coaches na pinagdaanan nila, pero they get bits, bits and pieces from yeah. each coach that they've gone, they gone with and they played under. Yeah, yung, yun yung resulta na nagiging yung... Both point guards, both very composed, both very relaxed even in pressure situations. So, Nalalabas nila or nahahawa nila yung mga players nila. Coach Topex just really believes in that vision and then really reminds his players of that love, serve, care and wants his players, you know, to not just be basketball players but to be good individuals outside the basketball court. And sabi mo nga eh, yung ginawa niya dito sa LPU basketball program. But when we started season 91, they're one of the bottom dwellers. And then he waited for the players that he wanted. Like marinate the system niya, he got these players. And Last year, they swept the elimination round. And when you talk about, like, from the seller, you remember that year that St. Peniel was 0-15, 0-17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, uh -huh. and that one win they got was against Coach Topex Robinson. That's and right. I'm sure yun yung time na talagang, ano na talaga sila, like, paon na paon na ang Lyceum. But then, you know the positivity of Coach Topex Robinson just waiting for this lineup, waiting for his MVP, CJ Perez, to come in and totally, you know, inikot. Yung, yung chances ng LP umabot sa final four and even the finals. And di ba, iniba niya yung lineup last year, yung uh, ang mga niya. veterans, oh, oh, kinangkaya niya, mga sapong veterans. Sina Shaq Alanis, oh, sina Joseph Gabay, Joseph Gabay. Ian Albahan. Ian Albahan. Ian Albahan. In the meantime, back to the game we go, uh, Runa. Missing there. Second try, Haruna. Air balls that long corner three. Eight-point lead here, six minutes to go. A lot of time for St. Benilde. But you have to start now talking about the green shirts. Oh, Zuzu, his entry pass stolen by Gutang. Gutang on the run. Oh, and another block by Mike Harry Zuzu. It's block number four for the Cameroonian big man. And look at that smile on Mike Harry. Take a look at our Vivo V11 perfect shot. Act time by JV Marcelino. Pastoran to Dixon. Luchu. Mike Harry Zuzu grabs the board. Seven rebounds down for Zuzu. Marcelino swings it over to Perez. Traveling violation there. Traveling. Still an eight-point lead here for LPU. I don't know, deploy na naman ni Coach Topex Robinson yung kanilang pressure defense and total blocks na de Mike Harzuzu with four. The whole Saint Benil team only with the one. Nice move by Unique, Unique Naboa. Naboa. Nice move there for Unique Naboa. Pero hindi nakita doon. Edward Dixon keeping Mike Harry Zuzu busy. Kaya naka, i, naka iwan doon. Ito si Unique Naboa with an easy layup. Cross court. Jeff Santos out to JV. Now Kaduya will fire a three. Oh, napaganda pa. Napunta kay Santos but he misses. Matakbo si Unique, Naboa. Oh, nice move. Finds Luchu, gets fouled. He will head to the line. Way to push the tempo here. Looks si Unique, Naboa. Attracting. Lahat ng pirata dito, in-attract niya. Finding Clement Luchu, wide open down low. Convert si Clement Lucio now he will have to earn his points from the line. A chance to cut this lead to four points. Maybe the lowest since the third quarter. Clement Lucio missing the first. 
Uchu, the third leading scorer of the Blazers. Fourth personal foul called on Perez earlier. JC Marcelino already graduated from this game. Five personal fouls. CSP still within reach. It's down by six points here. Kaduya to Zuzu. Now Perez. A kick out. Extra pass. Aye, aye. Bang! Bang! Another big shot here for LPU. Lagi silang may pamatay sunog eh. Itong LPU. Again, a nine-point lead here for the Pirates. Naboa, the jumper, no. Would have been a big shot there for Unique Naboa. Pero ito na naman ang LPU, as composed as ever. Trying to set their play up. Ayaay, guarded by Naboa. Ayaay to Marcelino. To Perez, beating the shot clock, missing on that three. Naboa. If CSB wants to make a run and tie things up, even win this ball game, they have to do it now. Time is not on their side. Nice pass by Gutang to Luchu. Luchu will head back to the line for two. Bench points natin. 25 all. The Lyceo men St. Benil. Justin Gutang. Shovel pass to Clement Luchu. Kapita mo, no easy baskets. Not on LPU's watch. Two free throws again for Clement Luchu. Missing on that first one, it's Clement Luchu. Luchu on one rebound away from another double double performance. 11 points, rebounds. Mm -hmm. Again, steep mountain, yung tinatahak ng St. Neil papunta sa Final Four. But with the loss today, eh, talagang wala na silang magiging chance. So, a big, big game here para sa St. Benilde. All right, a shot clock expiring on CSB shot Blazers. On their playoff hopes also expire on them. 2.42 remaining, Coach T. Waitang. What a stellar career he's had. His collegiate days, also in the pros. Wants to bring CSB in the final four. Oh, Dixon. Jump ball, but we'll go to the possession Jump arrow. Possession for the LB Pirates. And it's pointing towards the Pirate side. Kaduya has just really been the mind of LPU, especially in the second half, playing point guard, playing out of position, but really just fulfilling his role. And he gets the offensive board. And look at Kaduya. Veteranong veteran, oh, no? si Raymar Kaduya. Not forcing anything, not rushing into Let's anything. Do look at Kaduya, it. finds Ayaay. You know, Raymar Kaduya, he may not be, again, the most athletic player in the NCAA, but he's just a brilliant basketball mind, a high basketball IC kind Major of guy. Race. And Coach Topex just loves having him on his side. Uh, the Pirates still ahead here, 71 to 62, with 153 remaining in this game. Coach Topex Robinson, his fourth year as the head coach of the LPU Pirates. And after this one, Mikey, have one more game left, and it is against the defending champions, the Sun Red Redlines. The rivalry continues between the Pirates and the Lions. And a lot of hype, a lot of hype surrounding the second round matchup. Of course, uh, JV Mokon was heard saying, he said it on air, that they want to bench and they want to defeat LPU in the second round. Rivalry talaga nila in the past two seasons. 
has really been very, very exciting and something to look forward to. And this, malaman natin, pero malamang, the winner of that game will be our, uh, will take that number one spot entering the final four as we see Raymar Kaduya. Four Efficient points, numbers. Four points, four rebounds, seven assists. Just one turnover in 20 minutes of play. But yun nga, yung matchup nila against San Beda, yun dun mo malalaman kung sino magna number one dito sa season 94. Or San Beda has a game later on against Arellano. Kaduya, here he is. Difficult wow. shot! Raymar Kaduya! What a move! Ang hirap noon. From the right side all the way to the left side of the rim, Raymar Kaduya. Di ko alam paano niya napaabot dun yun. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Naman. The steal brings it all the way up court against Justin Gutang, knowing that it's more athletic. No, but si look at that fake, that behind the back fake, that pause, that hesitation, catching Gutang off guard, and the finish, the nifty finish from Kaduya. Gutang stolen away by Gesu. Kaduyak again! Raymar Kaduyak. Four zero run by the man of the hour, Raymar Kaduyak. If you're being asked, who would be your best player? Well, <laughs> if you don't choose, we'll have a problem. But I don't know, it's still up to you. But Raymar Kaduyak off the bench has really delivered big for Coach Topex Robinson. They're ahead now by 13 with a minute and eight remaining. Oh. Students loving every time they they love it every time they see themselves on the big screen. The College of St. Benilde students and Justin the LPU Gutan. students as Justin Gutan. Continues to not give up in this game. Has 13 markers. He leads his team again. He is their leading scorer in season 94. Four percent better red line. Melo Lim also watching us this afternoon. I'm sure he is very happy with this St. Benil loss. Yeah, as his dad. <laughs> Maga final four birth for Perpetual. A props to, I think, of course, a legendary Frankie Lim. What he has done to turn that oh, school in around. One season. <laughs> Perpetual Altas changing the, you know, the program and also the, kumbaga, the culture of uh, Altas. Nakabango na sila dun sa post Scotty Thompson, post Bright Aquetti era. And ngayon, mukhang papasok sila sa Final Four. As St. Pinild will bow out of Final Four contention. But what a season. Or Coach T. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So nothing to be ashamed of. There were, of course, there were a couple of games that they could have won. They should have won. Might have been a different story for them. These are the growing pains that the same the the Blazers the have to go through to get to the top. But when you talk about the Lyceum Pirates, the pangarap nila na maging second. Well, for the second consecutive time, number one team after the elimination round. E buhay pa with this win against St. Benilde. Coach Topex, of course, giving a few words to some of the young guns of the CSB Blazers. Justin Gutang having a talk with the reigning MVP, CJ Perez. So it is official. LPU with 15 wins and two losses. The remaining game will be a big one against the defending champions, the San Bela Red Lions. As for the CSB Blazers, may dalawa pa silang laro na nalalabi. But the are now with eight wins and eight losses, and they're officially out of contention in the final four. A final score, 77, para sa Lyceum of the Philippines University Pirates, 64 naman para sa College of St. Benilde Blazers. Mikey, your thoughts? Well, that was a great, great game para sa St. Benilde. Kaya lang, hindi lang talaga nila makuha yung kalamangan. They, they tied the ball game up. Uh, then the third quarter, then the second quarter, pero from uh, from 35 all. Pero since then, the Lyceum of the Philippines University Pirates just getting into another gear and leading throughout the second half, thanks to this guy, who is our cherry for PGM. Takat sagad, scorer of the game, of course, 
always uh, what a great his hometown. Bakit guys, as one Bautista, Pangasinan, kahit may iniinda, kahit may tinat, kahit may masakit sa kanya, he still gives it all for the LPU community. And CJ Perez finishing with 17 markers, six of 17 from the field, along with nine boards, an assist, and four steals. Uh, but our, our player of the game, of course, this guy deserves it. Uh, Ray talk, about, talk about scoring. CJ Perez coming out strong, nine points in the first quarter, but it was this guy who really, you know, executed very, very well for Coach Topex Robinson, making sure they get the best shot possible. Playing point guard in the second half, Raymar Kaduya. 10.7 assists, five rebounds, two steals, and a lot more. Even on the defensive end, that steal on Justin Gudang and the icing on the cake with that lay-in. What a game for Raymar Kaduyak and the Lyceum Pirates. Mala fantasy numbers, mala region rondo numbers in Milgi and Raymar Kaduyak. <laughs> in the meantime, up next, it will be the Aureliana University Chiefs who are 5-10 and 10 against the 14-1 and 1 last year's champion, San Beda University Red Lions. It will be another good one. Still live on SNA, Levi de la Cruz. What a season he's had here in season 94. Justin Gutang tried to carry his boys, but came up short. It's been all LPU. CSB tried to stay in this one. They've been in this game all throughout, but still came up with a loss and will be out of the Final Four contention. As for the LPU Pirates, they have the Sun Better Red Lions to face in their last game. What a game we've seen. A lot of great performances from both sides. But in the end, the Pirates still on top and wanting to solidify their spot as one of the top two teams in the NCAA. For my partner, Mikey Reyes, our courtside reporter, Siege Tantenko, director, Rodeo Campo, I'm Andre Felix. Stay tuned for more NCAA action only here on SNA.